As recently as 1990, 86% of Americans identified as a Christian. Of course, they weren't all committed followers of Jesus. Many of them showed up to church only on Easter and Christmas and lived lives that were inconsistent with Christian beliefs. Still, they viewed Christianity positively. These were the people that would attend evangelistic rallies made famous by Billy Graham, Luis Palau, and others. Drawing on favorable views of the church, these preachers could fill stadiums and make arguments using the Bible as a source of authority. Times have changed. We now live in a post-Christian culture. Many people have walked away from the church. The fastest growing religious group in America is the religiously unaffiliated, with over 30 million added in the last decade alone. This is most pronounced amongst millennial and Gen Zs, making up approximately 45% of these two generations. This shift is largely due to nominal Christians becoming secularized. Not only has affiliation with Christianity declined, but the attitude has changed as well. If we were to examine how people view the church today, it would look like this. On one side, you have committed followers of Jesus who strive to live their lives in alignment with the Bible and are so enthusiastic about their faith that they are sharing it with others. Next, you have people who have a positive view of the church. They see the Bible as a moral guide, but it is often detached from a personal relationship with God. As you move along the spectrum, you have those who are apathetic. Here people are not consciously rejecting God, they just don't care or think about Him. Finally, we have those who have a negative or even hostile view of the church. They see it as a symbol of repression and bigotry. Unfortunately, more and more Americans are moving to the negative and hostile end of the spectrum. And yet, the majority of the church's evangelistic efforts today are still focused on those with a nominal Christian worldview, using a come and see or bring your friend model evangelism, all while the cultural divide between the church and secular culture widens. The big paradigm shift is that we can't wait for them to come to us. We need to go to them and learn to communicate the gospel in a language they'll understand. Steiger is focused on mobilizing followers of Jesus to reach young people who would not walk into the church today, especially those who are apathetic, cynical, or even hostile to Christianity. While this generation seems far from God, they are hungry for truth and they can be reached.